fantastic little 16 FQ Wolf Pup by Cherokee. Uh, just came in here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, this is a Wolf Pup Limited series. Uh, so long story short, there are a lot of options and upgrades that are not standard equipment on here. So if the trailer that we have in stock uh, differs a little bit from this video, please understand that with our volume of sales, it's just not possible to put a new video on every trailer. So if you want to see how much one of these costs, Right in the uh, description of the video, if you're just on YouTube, it's going to say click for price and availability. That will take you to our list of campers uh, where you will be able to see if we have this in stock and how much it is with its specific set of equipment. Because, uh, you know, that can vary. So, what are we looking at here? We're looking at uh, just sub of 3,000 pounds, comes in about 2940. So, potentially minivan towable, though you're really going to be right in the edge of that. That's going to be true of any fully enclosed trailer. Um, but uh, certainly, you know, tow package, SUV, towable, and above. Um, we have a little trailer that is built exactly like Forest River's uh, number one selling travel trailer out there, just in smaller size. It's got the same 5 8 plywood um, tongue groove uh, floor decking, 3 8 walkable uh, roof deck. Um, this is a smooth aluminum nose sweep up here. A lot of people look at that and think it's fiberglass, but it's actually an amazingly extra thick aluminum. The idea here is we all know what diamond plate is. Well, this whole nose is diamond plate. This skin is 250% thicker and stronger than that one. So that's what helps. Uh, it, it's not going to get buffeted in from the wind during transit. These things are holding up and they have been uh, performing very well through our quality and service checks. You know, the appliances are firing properly. We're not, you know, experiencing any failures or anything like that. Um, the uh, uh, chassis on this is a traditional I-beam chassis. I've seen some of these smaller campers even on some angle iron frames, which is just truly terrifying because those things are not made for real stress. But hey, they cost less, right? You know? Um, we like to put the travel rack on the back of these because that gives you a, a great place to bring a couple hundred extra pounds of cargo and that's one of the advantages of going to a heavier chassis is you can do things like that. You do not need to remove the spare tire to flip that down. This is a narrow body camper. They're seven and a half wide versus a traditional eight foot wide. What that extra six inches uh, means, or pardon me, reduced six inches means, is easier towing because it is now no longer wider than your vehicle, so it's going to be less prone to headwinds, plus you can see around it. When you're changing lanes, when you're backing into a site, you can use your mirrors more effectively and safely. Um, uh, we do uh, have a full uh, 13,500 BTU roof mount AC in there, just like a big 30-foot bunkhouse camper on this little thing. Because again, they standardized all that stuff. This has the same, on average, 12-inch wall studs of its big brother Cherokee, just in a tinier package. Good looking aluminum wheels on here. No one ever gets offended by good looking aluminum wheels. Indoor outdoor TV hookups. Uh, there is no TV included with this camper uh, at the time of this filming anyway. That kind of stuff can vary. So again, check options. But what you do is you can mount a TV, if you choose to bring one, on this little bracket right here and it can slot on the outside of the trailer. The same bracket can mount inside the trailer so that you know, one TV can service the whole coach. And a bigger entry handle in a smaller camper is not a common thing. Also, nice friction sprung door. You can see that it catches itself and it doesn't go slamming shut. If you are, uh, some people say boondocking, dry camper, primitive camping, whatever you call it, you may be interested in the little solar prep station that they have right here. Um, we have them available in our service center. There's these little, what I call solar suitcases. They provide a low wattage trickle charge to your 12 volt battery. So you're not gonna run your fridge and your AC on that thing, but you can keep the lights and the fans running pretty consistently. That's the nice advantage to one of those. Now, the interior of these, once again, just like the Big Brother Cherokee or uh, Grey Wolf that sits in between. And uh, you've got a very, uh, well, I mean, the, the decor is actually called natural, but it's a very earth tone decor that is very comfortable. Again, that TV can mount inside, outside, very quick and easy, as you see. So, looking forward here. This is a, a small, perfect little couples camper with a front walk around bed. It does not have one of those corner beds where you have to climb over one another. This is also carpetless, 100%, so it's super easy to keep clean. Just 30 seconds with a broom, flip it out the front door, and then if you really want to get snazzy, guys, you can take the Swiffer and make this thing shine. Just be careful if you're wearing your slippers in here or your socks and you Swiffer that thing really good like my wife does, you'll, you'll fall. She can make me slip in our uh, you know, kitchen every time. She has to warn me. Now, in this little series of camper, um, uh, LED interior lights are not going to be common in every one of them. Neither is a true full walk-in height. That's what's nice about these. These are a traditional trailer height, just in a smaller box. 
again we got that bigger AC so if this was a little bit shorter you would see that a tall guy like me uh, would you know be hitting my head on bigger fixtures like that and I love the little angle work they did on these uh, wardrobes right there that cut back it just really helps give you the sense of depth right there and it makes a little camper look and feel not so little that's the only window that doesn't open for ventilation, but you see you get tons of light pouring through that. All other windows will open for ventilation. That's a very nice feature in here. And you do have little stands on both sides of the bed to run your CPAP machines, charge your phones, all those good little things. Um, you also have night privacy shades instead of cheaper metallic mini blinds through the camper. Um, just to give you that, that nicer interior look and feel, you know. Um, really good storage in a small camper. And I love the way they have this all trimmed out. The, the look of that's really sharp. But big spaces up here so you can actually keep some big stuff with you. Big tall cereal boxes, whatever. I like how they left this wide open. So if you want to set like electric griddle here and go to pancake country, you can do that. Gas electric fridge. Um, you know, not extremely large, but... If it was uh, much bigger, you'd feel like you lost a lot of interior space in the camper and you wouldn't want to do that. Um, you know, great storage under the sink too. They opened that up and gave you every ounce of space they possibly could. Um, over here, that's our propane furnace so that, you know, we do have heat. Down here, people ask all the time, what's that black box down there? That's like your circuit breaker box, basically, like you have in your house, just the camper version of it. Now, this could be a pantry, a closet, a linen space, a little bit of both. Anything, anything that you want it to be, it can be. I really like the, the shaker style cabinets they have in here too. It actually gives you something to really grab a hold of. Um, this is not actually etched, but the print they have on this, man, unless you touch it, it, it I mean, it is, it looks three dimensional. It has a very nice look to it, but that's a simple low dollar thing they did to, to just help dress this up. That That's nice, kind of like this tabletop right here. It might sound silly, but this is not a press board tabletop. This is an actual hardwood tabletop. It's stronger, it's lighter. It might be a little bit more money, but it's a superior component, especially if you're gonna sleep a grandkid here. It's more load bearing. Now, I mentioned the TVs are probably not included with these, but uh, this is gonna be part of the upgrade bundles that we put in. AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, everything all in one Swiss Army Entertainment. That's 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 my new name for it. I just came up with that. We're going to roll with that. It's a Swiss Army Entertainment system. Um, moving back here. Now, in little campers, you typically get what's called a wet bath. That is where the toilet is literally in the shower in a closet and you feel like a, you're in a coffin. It's one of those things that y you... I mean, it's not bad. It's there because it needs to be. And frankly, it's not like you're going to go to the bathroom and, and sit here and hang out. You know, you're here to do a job and leave. But it is nice to actually be able to be comfortable and relax a little bit. And that's what's really cool about this 16FQ is that it has a, a big full rear bathroom. So you've, you've got maximum bath space back here. Big countertops where you can actually put things. And notice, all of your countertops, I didn't mention this in the kitchen, but inside, uh, both in the bathroom and um, in the uh, kitchen... They're a sealed edge press membrane countertop. They're waterproof. So when you're splashing water on this big adult sized sink, it's not gonna water damage anything. It's fine. Um, also, we do, like I said, we do have that separate shower and they do curve that track just to give you a little bit more elbow room. Now, we have a power ceiling vent fan up here and that is why they purposely slot this door a couple inches short. Because when people are in the trailer, we exude heat like crazy. You should see us on one of those infrared like thermal cameras. Now when we breathe, and uh, all that heat rises and it forms a blanket on the, the ceiling. We can't see it, but it's there. You can, you know, it's kind of like if you dive into a pool that just had a solar cover on it. It's hot on top, cold on bottom. Same thing here. Well, that heat can get sucked out uh, of your living area where you're sleeping through that bathroom vent fan, but it's behind a door. So people can still come and go and use the bathroom and have um, that exhaust going on without uh, losing privacy or function or feature or anything like that. Um, also, little detail stuff to look at. Like when you start comparing around, uh, some of these really chintzy built things like these little KZ Sportsman Classics, they don't even bracket in the microwave. You gotta look for detail stuff like that, things you take for granted. Unfortunately, when it starts becoming a dollars and cents issue, you'll find that. They just have a microwave sitting on a shelf. So if you're in transit and you don't take the microwave out and stow it somewhere, which, you know, you don't want to waste your storage on a microwave, uh, it's going to fall, it's going to break, it's going to break something else, you're going to have a really bad day. That's 
that's not going to happen here. It can't. You know, it's bracketed in place just like a fifth wheel. So it's it's all those little detail things that add up, guys. You know, stuff like this. Open your baggage door. You see how all this wood is, you know, covered in this little black surface stuff here. They hit that with a sealant so that, uh, you know, it's going to be water repellent, so that it doesn't soak up moisture or just humidity. You know, it doesn't even have to be like, it doesn't have to be an instance where you left that baggage door open and it rained inside. Just the humidity from the air over time, over a couple years of use can start to affect that. Now it's just not going to. It's all those little detail things like the thicker nose skin, uh, you know, the, the, the sealants around there, the waterproof countertops. It's those kind of things that are going to keep this thing in top shape over time and and really help your resale value because they're not going to be problems. You're going to spend less time in a shop, statistically speaking, and more time on your campsite than a lot of other brands. And that's what I like about this. We sell, we're a huge volume place, guys. I don't have the interest, nor do we have the time to work on your camper twice. We want it done one time, do it right, get it in your driveway, and both of us want it to stay there. It's in both of our best interests for that to happen, and this is a brand that makes it happen. We can barely keep these in stock. These have an average in stock uh, time of like two weeks. It's absolutely incredible how popular they are. That means that when you're done with it, you're ready to trade it off, you may not need to trade it. You could probably sell it outright and keep a lot more of that money in your pocket. That's the Wolf Pup Advantage. So if you need pieces, parts, hitching, financing, you got a trade in. Um, you know, if you need a truck to pull this, if you need us to deliver it to your front door or to your campsite, we do all of that. One stop, easy shop. 800-256-5196, uh, Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.